I ask everybody, okay, you want to dive and with whom? So now I have a short list and uh, I made some groups. Some people will really work on the water with a specific goal. Other people or other teams will just have a nice dive and make some pictures or whatever. Our dive site is Put van Ekeren and we have two big stations. Those locations are picked, first of all, because we live close by, secondly, we dive a lot there, so we were very interested in how does it work with like the visibility or the temperature. All the divers in Belgium, not only GWE divers, but also the Seamass divers, buddy divers, the main question they have is what is the visibility in our waters and what's the temperature? To think of our projects, how to do it, set goals and stuff like that, uh, was sitting together with the team, we have like 10 key members and discussing about, okay, which kind of stations we put in, uh, what data we are going to collect. We also wanted something simple, and that's where the photo point comes in. Project Baseline HQ, they send us beautiful explanation about how to make a photo point. So we made a poll in cement, asked the concession holder if he could place it there, and they, they loved it. So we put it there, and now everybody can make a photo and upload it to our own website. It's a freshwater lake, it's pretty deep, and we know that there is like different temperatures, but also different visibilities on different depths. But we wanted to do it quick and dirty, really fast for everybody who is a diver can see it. So we made little plastic cards and put them on a chain. It's so, so simple. It contains three lines, uh, three white lines on a black background. And the idea is that um, when you shine on it with a standardized uh, type of light, and then you swim backward and uh, at the, the distance that you can see the, the, the middle line, which is a little thicker, but not the outer lines, which are uh, thinner, then that is considered the visibility at that point. Today is we're going to get the settle plates, there are four plates. We're going to get them there, get them here, get samples from them, put two back and two new ones. Those settle plates, they are plastic plates hanging in the water for just uh, three months. And after that we get them out of the water and put them under a microscope and then we check what kinds of species are on the plates. Settle plates provide a, a really good uh, early indicator uh, of invasive species and so the team can alert the proper authorities uh, once identified and take preventative measures uh, to avoid uh, invasive species growth before it becomes a problem basically. We also did a dive for the visibility measurements, the temperature measurements, but also for the water samples to see how much oxygen there is in the water and how much nitrate there is in the, in the water. We asked the professor who did all the tests for us uh, to explain a little bit how the freshwater lakes work. Explain us in a very co um, comprehensive way how it works. We also asked the photographers to uh, show um, their pictures of freshwater lakes. And then you can see that even in freshwater lakes where you have small life, it, look, it looks beautiful. And all the people who were there, who dive in those lakes, they were like, wow, that amount of life in those lakes, it's amazing. When we are putting in Project Baseline uh, stations, everybody wants to dive there just to have the goal to do the measurements. The magic sort of happens under the water for these guys. It's their training ground um, where they practice their GUE skills. Um, and it is a lake that they really love and value. It's the place that they recreate, and so they have, their, they have a buy-in, they have incentive to, to uh, create a voice for it. 